I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at StockMarketMentor.com on Monday. Uh, I should call it Window Dressing Monday here, March 26th. And today we're going to look at Amazon. Um, yesterday, or actually, you know, over the weekend, I'd been looking at this and it was still up against, in fact, let me get to it here. It was right here. Um, I'd been noting it was right up against resistance and I really wanted to go long. Uh, the stock or long um, call options because I just really had a sense that it was going to be breaking out. I, I actually had mentioned that to my uh, members over at Option Market Mentor actually. But I said I really, as a function of discipline, I really can't do that just because it's failed three different times to break through there. And I see the higher lows, but when you're trading options, which is what we trade at Option Market Mentor, which is why it's called option market mentor um, when you trade options you know to me you don't want to take these high risk trades because you're using leverage so what we ultimately did was wrote a bull put spread somewhere down here instead under the thesis or theory that even if we did not get the breakout here all of this trading in here would still act as a floor it would still act as a source of demand um, for the stock so that was really the stance um, over the weekend going into Monday. Now we get this and it's a whole new ball game. Um, by the way, the reason I'm mentioning this as far as option market mentor and what we're doing there is because guess what? We're going to be reopening that for subscriptions in the next two or three weeks. I'm not real sure. Um, so I'll just give you the heads up on that. You can um, hear more about this when I'm blathering about it at a later time. But look, now we've got a different deal. Again, we're in window dressing week here, the last week of the quarter. And uh, that's when all the portfolio managers rush to buy the stuff that's gone up the most because they want to hoodwink their clients into thinking that they know what the hell they're doing when generally speaking, they don't. But the world needs ditch diggers too and the portfolio managers don't want to join that cadre. So anyway, the thing is, now that Amazon has pushed through resistance, it is window dressing heaven for these guys. Um, it's above the 200 day moving average. The um, breakthrough today was on a heavier than average volume. Not a lot, but a little bit here. So what I'd suggest doing, and this is really more for a short term trade, simply because I don't have any idea where, whether Apple's going to get up to 220 or 230. I could say what I think, and then if it actually holds true then you'll think I'm really smart um, if it turns out that I was wrong then I'll hope that you forgot all about it but instead let's not do that let's just do this instead say you're long Amazon and I am uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys are too just keep a stop right under here right under this prior um, support level prior resistance level not at 200 that's too close it's just too close keep it at 198 maybe even 197 198 feels a little better to me but the whole idea is of this trade it's banged up against here higher lows finally it breaks through what we should get is if we do get a pullback we should get some buying and that'll ultimately push the stock higher so you just stay long the stock period stay long the stock the only time you rethink that is if it falls into the little red box here other than that I think this is going to be a good trade to the long side and uh, I'll tell you one thing the bull put spreads are doing really well on this because guess what volatility is increasing that means you have to pay more for options and when you have to pay more for options we like to sell them not buy them Okay, members get to the strategy session. I got the results of some of them squeezes that I talked about over the weekend.